So going back then to, to boundaries and not crossing particular boundaries, uh, of course, is a very important subject because once you've crossed those boundaries, it becomes very difficult to reestablish those boundaries. I like this picture because it kind of depicts um, uh, our old connotations in regards to learning. And I think the classroom has very much evolved from what we can see in the picture and having students paying attention and, and, and looking very, uh, very happy and, and, and happy and, and looking almost like that they would follow every instruction their teacher would give to them. And I think classroom management, managing behavior, respect, a lot of the time we have to understand to give our students uh, the freedom to be individuals and by giving that freedom to their freedom to our learners to be individuals and promote inclusive learning that is the best way to manage the class the best way to manage the class is to make students feel that the classroom is theirs they create the rules and that everything is centered around them and only then will you get full respect and control of the class it's very much about understanding that to control the class, you need to understand that you don't have control of the class. So moving on then, health and safety, uh, a key point for the teacher to know is the Health and Safety Act. And that really defines, um, defines our roles uh, in regards to being aware of the things that could cause harm to our students within the class, outside the class, within the college, on campus, off campus, even as as they're coming to uh, on their way to college all these things we need to look out for take care of and report any particular risks or any particular things we may think will cause harm to our students and it's very much about carrying out regular risk assessment now this can start with yourself as a teacher but you'll probably have somebody who's responsible for this on college but for me as a tutor the best way to deal with this is to raise awareness ourselves uh, on the subject to students. And I think students are, they normally find this subject very amusing, uh, considering the picture, but also they're pro they, they, they don't normally see the importance of the subject. So normally what I do with my students is get them to watch a number of videos on, on YouTube. And then we kind of discuss the importance uh, of health and safety. And they normally believe it's the other person's fault. So, so for me, um, or they normally believe it's a consumer's fault. If a consumer walks into a shop and falls over, for instance. So I think it's very much about changing mentalities in regards to health and safety, especially of the students. Um, so for me, I like to get my students to carry out risk assessments, get them to start to identify things that may ha may harm um, other people within the workplace or the classroom and get them to be very responsible for this subject. Um, and again, this subject is coming up quite a lot in the media um, as well. Now, uh, here's a quick quote here. One way to create sensible risk management is through risk awareness. So obviously teaching teaching learners and teaching other t teaching learners and other teachers as well. Uh, to become risk aware rather rather than risk adverse. So um, we're not saying you can't do anything that's risky, um, which HSE actually says, um, they actually suggest that managing health and safety should be done sensibly and not hinder unique and interactive learning opportunities for students. So you don't want, you don't, you don't want to make the classroom into, uh, you know, you can't move, you can't get up, you can't stand, you can't touch a computer. Obviously, um, we can't do that. We want the, we want the learning environment to be very interactive and creative. So making students risk aware is better than, than making them avoid all forms and types of risks there is. Because obviously you can never be risk free, but you can be risk aware. What do you think this means? Discuss this with the person sitting next to you. Great. So £3,500 was actually the amount of money um, a child was awarded for severing his finger in a door at school recently. Now, I found this article um, online, and it, it, there was a number of articles that I found, but I found it quite quite, uh, um, quite alarming, actually, that um, schools and colleges are starting to pay out quite a lot of money in terms of health and safety. So I think it's something we all need to read up on, something we need to be aware of, and something that we need to discuss in class with our students. There was another story as well. Um, that a teacher began a 12 month month jail term uh, over the death of a 10 year old boy um, who actually was swept away in freezing cold water whilst on a school trip, which I found really, really upsetting and sad. But what it did do for me was just highlight the importance of 
keeping our learners safe at school, outside of school and within college. So um, I'll thank you for listening to this presentation. I hope that you've taken something away from it. And if there's any questions, you can contact me at dbarnshines at gmail.com.